the eight man movie review now this movie was a breath of fresh air um sadly though it was the only um mcu movie i saw at home not in theaters because of life situation but overall i think this movie is just amazing um i'm glad they brought in um tip or ti um and as uh um and man's a little posse if you will um um I love how this movie is like a heist movie, um, completely different than what we're at the time we're used to getting. Um, if it wasn't, you know, a million billionaire, trillionaire, playboy with the iron suit on and a guy with the shield and a guy with anger issues and one with a uh, big hammer with lightning coming out of it. Well, lightning coming from the sky. Um, <laughs> space. Um, goons and all coming from space and now we have a new um, um, superhero that can literally grow to a micro or lesser than that or large as he can be no he's not giant man by the way trust me I know I shouldn't have to explain that but that discussion has happened when that movie came out a lot and when I saw the movie, I was a bit surprised that they were going with a um, the second version of Ant Man, um, the guy that takes up the mantle from Hank Pym. Um, but overall, this movie, I loved it. Uh, Yellow Jacket. Um, I felt like it was one of those villains again. I felt like, oh, ha ha, I'm here to do evil. Got no real purpose. I'm just doing the typical thing, kind of like they did in Iron Man. Definitely loved uh, Cassie Lang and um, Scott Lang. Um, and you know, uh, the daughter of the wasp, um, even though they really, we didn't get, only got a little glimpse of that. Uh, and I love, I did love the, um, Ant Man and Yellow Jacket, uh, um, the Thomas the Train train, uh, fight scene, though. That was pretty cool. Definitely comic booky, if you will. But you know, between the pacing, got a little off a little bit, um, a little. But it was, you know, again, fun, lovable, family friendly, kind of like the Guardians of the Galaxy and just uh, just that MCU uh, flavor. And I think this is them trying to really do something different, um, like a heist movie. So kudos to um, Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios for doing that. I would give this movie a rating of a 7.9 out of 10. And that's my review on the Ant-Man.